Yeah, hey, what's up? What's happening, guys? We're going to do the list today. Um, Lucas Giolito. What, what, what is this? <laughs> oh, thanks so much, Fur Tree. No, I'm not going to do what... Um, what did uh, Trevor Huth call it? They call it like word vomit or radio vomit. I don't know. Where like you put on a voice. You know, if, I, if I'm if i saying, I can listen to the sound of... You know, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh hey hey everybody thanks for joining in um we are going to rank the top 100 starting pitchers in baseball typically i i debate this if like i'm doing the list and monday's games are happening do i take that into account or not i and i, I feel i feel as if the game ends before i like i start the process then i should so I should take into account Giolito's six earned runs and eight hits and one walk and zero strikeouts in one inning. Uh, Fulmer is 100. We'll see. We'll see where Fulmer lands. Uh, and you haven't started the process. All well, right, then I should take into account Giolito. It's extra information, right? Um, let me see. Let me, let me. I mean, I will say velocity generally goes down when you're getting overworked in one inning. So, uh, it's not that far down. It's 93. That's kind of standard for him. I uh, I want to see, though, why not? Let's take a look at pitch velocity. I mean, yeah, it was down 92, 93, 92 in the later ones, but then it started off at, like, 90-something else. <laughs> 95, 94. Yeah, I mean, it's just as the game went on, or the inning went on, I should say. I mean, what's he, um, what was the series of events here? Did he come out for the second inning? I didn't watch this because, you know, I only had like an hour <laughs> to do other things uh, before this. I, I'm assuming that he just got rocked in the, in the second as well. Um, let's take a quick look. Yeah, G Lita walked and allowed a home run and a walk. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My lord. So Kike lead off led off with a home run. Three straight singles, four, five straight singles, six. He got singled out, y'all. I mean, unreal. That, this is crazy. He got yeah, he got completely singled out. Sure, he allowed two solo shots, but one, two, three, a bunt single, four, five in a row, and then a ground out, and then another single, and then an, and then one an error with it as well. Yeah, he got singled out. I'm not gonna. That isn't enough for me to to judge. I don't think too harshly. I mean, I have him at five, right? So maybe I put Nola ahead of him. Yeah. He has singled out, though, for the most part. Um, anyway, so he came out for the second, gave up a dog to JD, and then walked to Gavin for me and pulled you. Not great. Not great. Oh, man. This is the point where I like I would normally want a second cup of coffee because I'm doing this again. I probably would get it in like an hour or two. So I might I might interrupt this at some point to do that. But anyway, what's going to happen now? Uh, I'm going to go through this. Um, if you guys don't know my process, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to look at the SP roundups from the past week. Uh, hey, thanks so much for the follow, Twinkies fan. Uh, you're awesome. Um, Kentucky Nick as well as Gotta Be Prov. Uh, thanks so much for the follows while I was gone. Um, but essentially, uh, does that work, actually? Does this? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I go through the past week of SP Roundups. I take notes about it. Um, essentially, then, looking at also all the rotations ahead to see if there's anyone that is going to be starting that is not on the list that should be, or someone that was removed from the rotation that should be removed, and so on. 
Um, generally, the rules that I adhere to that are if they are guaranteed to start this year, that is confirmed, they can be on the list. If they're not confirmed, they're still in the fringe table. Um, and that's just generally the, the thought process there. Uh, it shouldn't, you know, I, I will say kind of the, around where they would be, and that's the best I can do. Because, yeah, that's, uh, you know, the list is, is a guideline, and you all know that. Okay. All right, so let's get to it. Let's start off. I will show you my screen as I do, and I take these notes. There is the list that I will be updating. Um, we're going to start with this, which is Peralta Bridge, which is maybe my favorite graphic that Justin has ever done. It's, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> like, look at that. Um, I don't know if you guys are Alter Bridge fans at all, but that's just like their the album cover of Blackbird by Alter Bridge, and he nailed the f he made this font essentially, like made the p the whole thing. It it's just anywhere that's be roundup. It's amazing. Um, okay, so I'm going to make my little notepad, and we're gonna just kind of just start going here. Um, uh, Peralta deserves a slight raise, maybe raise Bassett, but at the same time, I actually preemptively raised Bassett because I expected two good starts, and he gave them. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to the Bumgarner. I'm going to uh, question mark raise Mize. Probably not. I don't really want to, um, but I'm going to do that. We're going to raise Glass now. Um... We're going to maybe raise Dunning? Question mark. Uh, maybe Miley. I'm going to raise... Actually, am I going to add Singer? No. I'm going to raise Singer, though. Um, yeah, it's two straight good starts from, from Singer. Pretty cool. Uh, do, 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 no, not Fede, not that Cahill. We're going to raise Enoa. I know everyone's going to be like, what? You're raising Enoa? Yes. Because he wasn't risen before this. And he was really good. He was really good in that bad start still. Uh, maybe add Aaron Sanchez. I'm going to probably not. Hey, what's up, you, uh, user Baines? I'm so sorry. I don't think I have Lucas in any league. But I feel the pain of everyone who has him. Oh, I'm really excited today. I uh, Well... I don't know if I, I mentioned it a lot, but like I'm in this guillotine league, which is, um, by the way, I know that he has allowed seven earned runs in his last two starts, but I still want to raise Sandy Alcantara. Uh, I, I have to remove, um, Adbert Alzal. He's on the rotation. I, uh, but anyway, I'm in this, in this guillotine league. It's one of the wacky leagues that Miles Nelson has put together for a pitcher list, which is just the coolest thing ever. Uh, and in this one, essentially, every single week, it's a points it's a points league with everybody against everybody else, 18-teamer. But you get, every week, someone gets eliminated. And their entire roster goes back on the free agency pool. Everyone has $1,000 on FAB. So it becomes a mad scramble to get as many quality players as you can um, doing it. We also have certain waiver moments. So, like, Friday's your last one for the weekend, for example. So you can't just stream everybody. It's uh, it's my favorite league I'm in, like by far. <laughs> and I, I should have just gotten eliminated, and I wasn't. Uh, I, I got very lucky. I'm gonna raise McKenzie? Question mark. Um. So anyway, so I'm very excited because it's like it's Fab Day. Um. Raise Cobb maybe. Uh. Zach Greinke did recover the second start. Um, casting doubt. Right, we are going to lower, lower Castillo slightly. Um, I have to lower Giolito by one. I'm going to put Nola ahead after yesterday's performance. Just as like a, what's up? What's up, Nola? <laughs> Ryu's, I, I might be able to raise Ryu. I don't think so. Maybe above Wheeler though. Um, Bauer. Maybe I can raise him. He's pretty much doing the same thing uh, that we expected. Yes, I'll raise Boyd, but barely. Hey, what's up, Custom? Good to see you. Magic Oriole, good to see you again. McRobbie, Fertree, Pseudo, 
Starcraft 2. I don't know what that, that is, but maybe it's a Starcraft 2 user banes. Good to see all of you here as we do the list. Uh, all right. We're going to add Zach Gallen because you've returned, and that's wonderful. Uh, we're going to raise Danny Duffy. Hey, thanks so much for the follow, guys. Uh, maybe raise Taiwan? <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was like a science. Like, don't do it, Nick. Uh, I'm gonna probably hold Gibson. But I'll, I'll, maybe I'll raise him a little bit, maybe to survive. I'm surprised myself. I was like, no, don't do it. Hey, thanks for all the follows, everyone. You're fantastic. Abel Wignett, good to see you. I'm Frostman, Havers. Uh, thank you all. Havers Stall or Havers Tall? I'll stop the geoventing. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's Well, it was. It looked like it was 600 runs. Maybe not. Maybe, oh, it hadn't been updated yet because it was 8 total. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, Woodruff is fine. Well, Flaherty's. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really care for Hap. Maybe. I don't really want to add Sheffield. I don't really, uh, I don't really like it. Alec Mills, no. No, no, no. Maybe raise Bundy? Bundy's pretty much been doing his thing. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I uh, Means is locked in. Means is weird because it's like he's not doing the fastball thing necessarily but he's getting better change up stuff and it's uh hey look at this look at this prophetic <laughs> look at that i got one thing right <laughs> you don't want to miss that uh he still wasn't horrific on a bad day there you go uh aaron nola man after this outing where everyone was so upset he had a complete game shut out that was beautiful huh uh, I'm going to remove the Kramer. Man, that whole thing did not work whatsoever. Uh, Gaussman looked good. I remember this was against Castillo. Uh, I guess I'm going to lower Odo Rizzi because we just don't know what is going on there right now. But hold. I'm going to hold Tyon probably. I'm going to lower Luzardo. Uh, hold Pablo because he recovered, and that's kind of what we expected anyway. I'm going to lower the Friday Pirate. Even though he came in re relief yesterday, like it was the bulk man against the Yankees, it still wasn't great. Remove Strasburg. Remove Freed. Man, people are they're dropping like flies. <laughs> oh, yeah, toe hitter. I felt weird that, like, both of my no hitter game, uh, Roundups were like it was Joe hitter and then toe hitter, but they were both so perfect. <laughs> like this was this was I mean this was so much more fun. Means looks legit. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, uh, Tony the Blind? What is the word? Um. By the way, everybody. Um. I can't really do a prediction thing, but I uh, because it's a very specific one. But who do you think is going to be the photo? For the list this week. Who is the um Sal Rodon for Castillo? Yeah, Toe Hitter. I thought that was a really good one. I was like, oh, that's better than Joe Hitter, but I, and I didn't want to not do it because I did Joe Hitter before. I thought Toe Hitter was hilarious. <laughs> um sorry, I uh, you know a hitter. Oh man, that's fun. Pablo hitter. Yeah, if it, it's like multiple no hitters happen, I feel like at this point I have to make them all a pun on no, right? <laughs> anyway i guess we slightly raise rodan i was already high on rodan last week so i don't know if i can necessarily like push him farther um maybe probably we'll stick around i do not care for john gray maybe add joe ross maybe i don't know uh koyari hara don't care Quato remove if he's on there He's on the IL. Oh, thanks so much for uh, for subbing with the Prime Gaming. Um, Swirls Barkley. 
Um, if, by the way, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub. So please support if you can. Um, all right. Corin Burns. Yep, yep, yep. Tell me, Anderson, sorry you're not coming in here. How dare he go four innings? It's because he pitched a no-hitter before, guys, and they just wanted to slow him down a little. Uh, we're going to lower Maeda slightly. And we'll slightly raise Musgrove. I actually don't know. After the no-hitter, probably have him too high. Or not too high, but like high enough. Molly is cruising. I should probably maybe raise him a little. Uh, Eduardo, not... Uh, it's fine. Maybe. We'll talk about it. I'm going to add David Peterson back. Uh, Griffin Canning is fine. Evaldi survived. I will take into account his game today. All right, Michael Fulmer. All right, let's not go crazy, guys. We're going to lower Kluber a little bit, but it, it's very weird. Like, I'm hedging my bets by lowering Kluber because I actually do genuinely believe he is a t like, he's definitely a top 50 guy, I think, once the next week happens. I'll obviously feel a lot more, you know, better about it once he gets the, um, like, this is this is how I feel. He's not going to get a second start until the list is published next week. So Kluber is going to get the Braves this week. Don't like that, really. Don't love it. So he might struggle then, and everyone will be like, Nick, you got to lower Kluber. And if I'm going to stay strong on Kluber, it's next week. Not necessarily this one, you know? Because I'm going to say, hey, Atlanta's behind him now. Now he has Detroit in a couple of easier starts. And he has the buffer we were giving of, like, April, essentially. Um, why isn't Griffin Canning pitching again until 424? That's a great question. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, oh, thanks so much, Swirls Barkley. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Steven Matz is the image. Oh, that's, that's a very interesting guess for a tree. Very interesting guess. How far is Corbin dropping? You're going to find out with all of us. We don't know yet. I'm going to say if I had to look very quickly at the list. I mean, this is very, very, very quickly. Here it is. Corbin will probably be around this. Like, if you remember from last week, these are like, all right, these things are promising and maybe they'll turn a corner or so, right? Pineda certainly has done that. Uh, Peralta has. Boyd is, right? Um, but this is kind of the purgatory area. And that's kind of where Corbin will be going. I mean, you can even say like a large round of this. So anywhere from like 50 to 70 is where you're going to see Corbin. Where it will ultimately be, I don't know, because it's all relative to the field. And I, don't, I can't really figure out what the field is in my head yet. We'll construct the list. We remove some guys. We add some. We raise this. We do that. We'll find out where Corbin is. If you if you're impatient, uh, the real chunk of this happens around like one or one thirty. That's when things actually start to materialize a bit. I uh, maybe even closer to two. Um, anyway, all of you are going to be my best friends today, just like you are in the morning. You make me start the notes at eight forty five and start recording by no later than nine oh five. Uh, you're going to be my best friends today because you're going to force me to stay on stream as I do the list and I, and I, and I write out the notes. Okay. You guys are going to be that. You're going to be chat. You're going to stick around. You're going to say, Nick, you got to write the notes with us and you're going to, you're going to do that for us. Right. I, uh, so I, I, I believe in chat. I believe in you. We're in this together. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'm going to slightly lower Kluber for now. Um, I'm going to maybe lower Wheeler. Um, I've been a little disappointed. He still has really good fastball command, but it's not... Like, it, it is slightly lacking. While, like, Woodruff is able to get the swing strikes with his heater, Wheeler isn't quite doing it. But I feel like this is the floor. That's the thing. Is I, I really don't... He's going to have a lot of some of these, but then he's going to have those amazing ones like he did the first week. And that's going to over, overwhelm it. Yeah, I mean, user Baines, I would be taking Kluber. Yeah. Is promising to keep disappointing. Oh, yeah. Mitch Keller is falling. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, 
Oh, it's probably yeah, it's probably because of that. Because all of the angel stuff he's getting pushed back. I see. Yeah. I didn't realize that like 424 was kind of short. Um, Yeah. I mean, they had all these postponements and days off and stuff like that. And Otani's back in the rotation, right? So it's just like, that's the angels for you. Um, Okay. We're going to keep going. Barrios, maybe lower. Uh, I think he should be underneath Sandy and, and company, right? Like, where is he right now? Yeah. Yeah. Brios should be underneath these two guys. Yeah. And I and I hope you guys really... I, I think people are going to be upset at me for raising Sandy Alcantara anything, uh, despite allowing seven earned runs in the last two starts. But, man, there, he, oof, there are, he's pitching so well. Like, he's pitching better than Plesak. You know, he's better. he's pitching better than... I'd say he's pitching better than Charlie Morton. He's pitching better than Hendricks. Like, Sandy Alcantara, I kid you not, is going to be at 21 today. I'm, I'm not even kidding. All of these. Strasburg's hurt. Polisak isn't pitching well. Frieda's hurt. Hendricks isn't doing well. Morden is good, but not, like, I think Sandy Alcantara is doing better. Yeah. Fight me. <laughs> um, okay. I uh, Let's get... <laughs> I mean, I do like Lance too. Lance will be right behind him, probably. I mean, this was a this was a vaccine thing. I'm not gonna change anything. Um, I will say this about Charlie is that Sandy has gone six innings in each of them, and I feel like he's going to consistently do that. While Charlie's a little more volatile on that side, plus the fact there is a, a larger injury risk. I think. I mean, oh man, you've held on. I was not a believer at the end of 2019. I wasn't. And I think the increased velocity and just the better secondary stuff is is winning me over pretty quickly. Um, okay. By the way, you should get our newsletter if you haven't yet. Uh, it goes out every day. You get a recap of all like the great articles that you missed. We have some wonderful opening blurbs from our writers. It's pretty fantastic. Uh, you should be doing that if you aren't already. Um, okay, so... We're done with this one. Was it okay that we had two straight roundups where the pitcher was on fire? <laughs> I mean, I just Michael Waka Flame just sounds so much fun to say, and Corbin Burned is an amazing headline. So like we had two straight, but if they were like different enough, I thought maybe. I don't know. Uh, all right, uh, so let's get back to this. Um. Okay. Yeah, he never punched out enough guys. I understand that. And he also wasn't consistent enough to go through six, you know? I know. Like, Halo Coop, it's a very it's very um, reminiscent of, you know, fantasy baseball. Is a guy, it's how you have to treat emotions in person, you know? It's like management. It's actually like proper management. Someone messes up at your company or your position or whatever it is. Like, you can either yell at them and damage you know, your reputation with them or your relationship with them. Um, or you can be like, what is the best thing moving forward and swallow that, be upset. Don't express it. Um, you know, don't express it publicly essentially. And then say, okay, moving forward, I expect better. And like, we'll, we'll get, you know, you won't burn bridges and stuff. Right. Okay, good. Thanks, Matt. Um, all right. So yeah, so we we, we talked about lowering Corbin. Look at me, I did three paragraphs for this one. Three. Look what you did to me, Corbin. Okay, uh, we're going to lower scoobs. Um, depends on what you're dropping always, Rob. It's always relative to like the thing that you're losing instead, right? We're going to raise Manaya, I think. I mean, even though it is Detroit, it's good to see him actually like shove and do well. Um, we're going to keep Urias. We're going to raise Pineda. If you're curious as to why, like, you guys probably recognize it's it's in order of earned runs allowed, but sometimes there are games that are not. And the reason for this is because of the way the SP roundup is set up. I I need to, a lot of times these are automatically put in. Sometimes I have to manually put them in if I'm writing it and those games haven't ended yet. So, 
for it to work all harmoniously, they need to be the first four. So if you're curious about that, there's a little um, tip. I would rather Kluber in Montgomery than Corbin. You'll see that on the list reflected that way. All right. Okay. Uh, Garrett Richards, am I going to re-add you? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he didn't have a slider in this one. Right, 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 right. So Valley, fine. Uh, I'm going to add Dunn. Is he here? He is. Oh, he's at 77. Oh, yeah. Leave him where he is. Hey. But look, y'all doubted me. <laughs> Through eight walks in his first game. Oh, by the way, have you guys uh, decided on who the uh, the featured image is yet? I think you said um, either it was Steven Matz as one. I uh, No, you didn't, Callaway. No, it's still early. We're still figuring all of it out. We're still going through this process first. I have to remove Lance Lynn, and this is so painful. Ugh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to lower Paddock because I did not like what I saw there. Um, keep Marco Gonzalez where he is. Keep Zimmerman where he is. I feel like I got to raise Trevor Rogers, man. He's just so looking so freaking good. All right, I'll add Jacob Junis. I don't buy it, but, you know, I'm not stupid. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry, Nick Town. Giolito, I know. I will be incorporating that, by the way. People have asked about it. I think we're going to keep, by the way, Ian Anderson where he is. Anthony K, no. Rich Hill, no. Mitch Keller, yep. We're lowering you. Eunice over Waka. Um, maybe... I Waka I think is getting I think they might even face each other but he's getting the raise while uh, sorry he's getting the Royals while Eunice is getting the raise and I'd rather f have Waka against the Royals than Waka uh, than Eunice against the Rays um, mm, 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 mm. good job Montes it is Detroit but still good job Yep, yep. This is all normal. I mean, maybe raise Widener, but... Eh. I will raise Tony Disco, though. Actually, maybe not. Uh, we're going to raise Coffee Cakes. That's JT Brew Baker, by the way. Brews and Baker. Um, don't care about Hoffman. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll do like a very spec like add off. Man. Uh, I have to remove Jose De Leon, don't I? Uh, I think the grav graphic for this list is glass now. It says shades. All right, all right. Uh, Fulmer is coming. I hope so, man. I hope he is. Any other guesses, guys, to the featured image for today? Um, do I raise Eflin? He didn't have his curveball. I mean, that's kind of a good thing. He had success without it. Uh, Jorge Lopez, Thorpe, Heaney. No, no, no. None of this is really actionable. <laughs> I don't know if he got this Wolverine joke. I remember writing and being like, this is too much of a stretch. We're going to lower Davies. Nola should be featured image. Every day is Nola day. <laughs> Burns from Halo, Halo Coop. Giolito. Guys, Justin makes these at night uh, the day before. Um, Kikuchi, I'm actually, I know this sounds ridiculous, but I think he actually did pretty good. I'm going to hold on to him there. Um, I'm going to lower Carmart, likely. Well, it depends on where he is. But probably. All right. So I'm going to remove, remove if I can say things. Bolden Cool. 
Ah, oh, what a good graphic. Quincy. Quincy Dong made this one. So good. Yeah, if you guys notice, on Sundays is the only day that I let myself sleep in and not write the list the night before. Because, like, you know, I need one night a week where I'm not writing. So that's Saturday nights, which makes the most sense, I think. Uh, and uh, so I had to send it to him before I went to bed. And uh, I woke up to that. And I'm just like, this is this is the best job. <laughs> like, that's such a cool feeling to wake up to. Um, Where is Gallon going to land on the list now he's back from the IL? Probably inside. He's inside the top 20. Maybe, like, right outside the top 15. I know, Lynn on L and IL. I know, I know. But you, know, I follow. I have certain rules with the list. And if they're not pitching this week, they're not on the list. We'll be in the fringe starters. I think everyone will kind of understand where he is. Don't need to do anything here. Yep, 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 yep. This is all fine. Irvin Santana joining the list. No. No, no. Uh, good to see. This is why. Oh, this felt so good. I was like, thank you. Darvish against the Dodgers it doesn't matter you know and why are you walking Kershaw I just don't I just don't understand that like how could you do that how could you watch walk in Kershaw like that you Darvish okay um all right oh my god let's see let's see okay uh, Tristan McKenzie went over that. See, so I'm still, I mean, actually, I remember this now. This was ridiculous. Look at this. This is a really good plot. And this is, a, okay, this is a bit of a problem. Like, he needs to get this closer to this. But, I mean, there's a lot here. He's avoiding this. You know, this is really good that he's avoiding it. Hey, thanks so much, Shades. I... Uh, sliders consistently in the same spot yeah sure chain like he had a couple good change-ups not so much curveballs or whatever but this and this is very encouraging for dylan Cease. oh my god kyle kyle you're ridiculous you you are ridiculous um <laughs> you shouldn't absolutely not have um, enjoy the subs, guys. Uh, Kyle is is too much. Um, but anyway, I uh, yeah. Look at this strike zone plot. This is Dylan Cease's, and the thing is, as we pull back out here, he gets Cleveland and Detroit next. Oh man! I mean, I have to raise Cease. You know. Hey, thanks so much, Troy. For getting the gift itself from Kyle Seiler, my guy. Kyle, you are you're 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 amazing. Um Herman Marquez doing this. I'm probably gonna leave it. Maybe slightly, but it's just I don't know what to do with the Marquez. It's just it's crazy. I think of the image will be Strowman says Abel Wingnut. I'm gonna raise Brady Singer because of the schedule too. I am. Yeah, he's a solid one. And if you guys have not bookmarked this article yet, no, that's going to load in a second. Uh, you have to. Like, this is the one of the most valuable articles. I'm not even kidding. More so than the list or SP Roundup. Like, this article is one of the most valuable articles you'll find. I'm not... Like, all I do now, what is Singer's schedule? Oh, Detroit and Pittsburgh and Cleveland. <laughs> like that, guys. Look at this. This is this is value. This is just like money in the bank. This article is ridiculous. And like I, I I'm I'm even tempted to put it up as like a, a menu item because it's that valuable and should be referenced that often. You know, but essentially I have ra the roundup streamers and and top 100 pitchers there now because it's I mean, those are the most, you know, uh, things that people request, but I don't know if I would drop Corbin for Singer though. Uh, hey, Ross. Uh, no, we haven't gotten to the point of actual rankings yet. We're still just reviewing uh, as we do every single week. <clears throat> um, so, Sonny Gray came back. Um, I actually don't know if Sonny Gray is added. 
So I got to do that. Yeah, I don't think he's there. Um, alone. No, no, no. Pavetta. I got to add Kim. Um, not Luke Casey. Obviously this. Obviously that. Yeah, I think we have to lower minor. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Um, we're going to lower Weaver. We didn't know if the command would stick and it didn't. That was really annoying. This is maybe my favorite blurb of the season so far. I mean, I was... <laughs> I think I even like delayed the roundup coming out by a good 10 minutes. Because I wanted to get this right. But this... I, I enjoyed this one a lot. I'm sorry. I, I, I hope you guys did too. I hope you felt this way because I felt, you know, I should have probably made a day like the proper day of the season. But I I, I enjoyed that a lot. Okay. Uh, and we're going to move on here. Yeah, you know why I'm not going to raise my eyes now. I forgot, right? Hey, how was your weekend, Zach? Uh, uh, good weekend. It was nice. Uh, I got to DM actually again. I, I taught my friends D and D over the uh, over the quarantine, and we hadn't played since July. And we finally did it again yesterday, and it was wonderful. I've missed it so terribly. Okay. Um, I don't want that here. Uh, I did it live. Uh, all of them are vaccinated. Uh, I have uh, my second a week and a half away. Uh, so yeah, by the way, that, um, that day I'm getting it at 11 AM. So after the stream, I'm essentially like getting out of here and going my second shot. I, uh, I'm doing the roundup at night apparently. And the, the stream the next day, apparently it knocks you out. Right. So wish me luck. I hope I can do it. Um, when are you going to run a baseball under D and D rules? Game of baseball. I mean, we did uh, go for grace. We did Pitcherless Plays D&D. It's on our YouTube channel. Um, I mean, it's us playing D&D &D with Roll20. Uh, I was a uh, sore thunder guard who could not, who had his arm uh, cursed by a wizard named Thomas John. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's with Austin Bristow and Daniel Port uh, and... Um, my my uh my friend uh Mike Levy is uh Levy was uh, was DM, um and oh my why am I forgetting and John Metzlar John Metzlar is playing Father Manny a cleric, who celebrates ballism, it's unbelievable, it's pretty it's pretty incredible, um none of this changes none of this changes uh I think I'm lowering Ray because he didn't throw strikes. Uh, yeah, that that sounds great. That sounds great, Matt. Uh, um, right, right, right. I gotta add Alex Wood. Oh, thanks so much for the. Oh my God, did you do more, Kyle? Kyle, yeah. Okay, stick to your promise. You got. This is ridiculous. <laughs> unbelievable out of control um okay uh l let's see um Marcus Stroman I uh, performed well in in cores uh, I don't know if I can raise him too much though is the thing I uh, bum guard yep 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 this is all standard stuff right and we talked about this we talked about this talked about that okay um so the process now is i uh, the first thing we do we have to go look at the list and remove everybody we got to remove right i uh, and then make sure that i've cataloged it so i have it down for the notes to say hey this guy was removed um we're going to essentially get rid of tears this one's not going to change i uh, we're removing Lance Lyon, which is so sad. Um, we're going to 
Uh, remove Max Freed. Making sure all this is written down. It is. Oh, I got to fix it. Okay. Uh, anyone else need to get removed here? Strasbourg does. <laughs> is you already hurt? I'm just joking. Um, Patrick Corbin. No. All these guys are pitching. Smiley. Okay, move Smiley. Uh, oh, you guys can't see it. I'm so sorry. That should help. Actually, you probably want to see the ranking too. I know it's two columns right now. It's because of the current system we have. We got it. We'll get rid of it. Webb is supposed to pitch on Tuesday still. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, I'm going to lower him significantly. Um... But yeah, we're not going to remove him because he is supposed to pitch this week. Spent the weekend trying to figure out what the heck to do with Devin Williams. Do looks so off that airbender changeup. Looks like a beach ball this season. Yeah, he's on the wire on uh, saves and hold leagues of mine. Saves plus hold league. And it's weird. I'm not like I didn't spend my waiver on it. Someone else did. I, uh, Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, ask, uh, I'd ask Rick Graham about that. Uh, I'm sorry that you spent your whole weekend doing that. That sounds rough, man. I'm just messing with you. I is there anyone else we have to remove here? I just removed um who oh, wait, uh, Dean Kramer, okay. <laughs> uh, Brett Alzale. Right to the widener. Um Okay. So at this point, we have seven spots, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve that I want to add. Um, I can find, I can see myself essentially of these removing Wainwright and maybe Lucchese. I I will do this. If you guys don't have this, you really do. You need to get it. I'm just going to look really quickly at the expected starters this week just to make sure there isn't someone that's starting or expected to that I'm just forgetting about. Just really quickly. Bryce Wilson is someone to consider, but I'm not going to do that. I do my due diligence every week. You got to here um uh, i'm not seeing anyone that's like standing out as oh man nick you're forgetting about that guy christian javier might return but that's not, not confirmed yet I already mentioned junis as my ads yep is Cobb on the list? Did anyone see Cobb there? He's not. I should add Alex Cobb. Um, thought I hear he was. Okay. Don't care about Hauser. Yeah, Herman might also return, so same with Rikidi. But uh, we don't know yet. It's not confirmed. So he's going to stay off the list this week. Uh, this looks right. I'm almost done. Dennis and Met, same idea. It's not confirmed. Where he added Alex Wood. And Kim. 
some Walker. I'm not adding Fleming. And Joe Ross. Okay, cool. So, uh, what we are going to do, I'm not going to add Jeff Hoffman. Like, who of these do I, of these guys I want to add, do I really not want to add? It's probably Aaron Sanchez. I'll, I'll mention like a fringe of almost added Hoffman and Sanchez. Uh, that means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Really? Wow, that's a lot. Uh, so let's just start adding them. And then I can kind of figure out who do I want to... Uh, I, I might like all of them more than... You know, they might all deserve a spy. I just have to get rid of the others. By the way, you might get your Michael Fulmer wish at the very end. Whoever, I can't remember who said that. But that could very well be what happens here. I uh, get Richards. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Let's go. Well, come on. There we go. Uh, we have a couple more here. Sonny Gray. Got to get Sonny Gray. Got to get him. Uh, and then we have Kwang Young Kim. Alex Wood. And Alex Cobb. Okay. So we have to get rid of four guys. So my first instincts are Wayno, Lucchese, kind of want to get rid of Logan Allen, Luke Weaver. You can't trust Luke Weaver. That was a, that was a rare one start. Maybe Carmart. Oh, Zach Davies is rough. Oh, Mitch Keller. Oh, boy. Um, but, all right. So, we are going to get rid of uh, Adam Wayne, right? I haven't really noticed the uh, the velocity dip for, for Bueller. Uh, the increased velocity. That, this is the thing. The increased velocity is more of just catching up velocity. He was really down in 2020. It was at 93, but like that was like what Fulmer, you're like a 95 96 guy and now he's back at 95. Great. That's exactly where you were before. <laughs> and that's not, you know, it's not exceptional. Uh yeah, I was thinking Davies Zach Davies is Zach Davies like out out? There's no like news about Zach Davies. I heard Fulmer and I'm back. Oh, you're the one. Okay, Magical Orgo, you must have been the one. It wasn't It wasn't good stuff, was it, Nick? You will repent. <laughs> um, Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to get rid of Wayne, Rain, sorry, Wayne Wright, which actually like I feel a little hesitant about, but whatever. I think that's it's borderline. Um, I'll say like uh, Wayne Wright's one of the last ones out. Um, we're going to get rid of Lucchese. I just don't see enough there. And even though it is like, we haven't really given him a chance yet. It's just, I'll wait and see. So I'm removing Lucchese. I, I kind of want to get rid of Casey Mize again, but I won't. Pavetta is somewhat close, but uh, I think it's going to be Logan Allen. I just don't think there's enough there. Um... 
We have to get rid of two more. You guys want to get rid of Zach Davies. I'm going to get rid of Luke Weaver. I think. I mean, I'm looking at all these names. And there's... What, what is this? Why are you, why are you bothering me? <laughs> okay. Um, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember that trade straight up, right? I think. Or maybe it was actually one other prospect, too. I'm thinking of the Lester suspended straight up deal. I mean, there isn't much to say, um, and wads. I, when it comes to Alex Cobb, it's like, is he going to throw 50% splitters? Are they going to be good? I hope so. Maybe it's a Vargas rule as he does it, but maybe not. Fulmer for two starts. Uh, well, what are those starts? Let me find out. Let me just Google or search for Fulmer. Uh, it's the Pirates in Kansas City versus Junis for Tampa Bay. If it's a points league, I would say Fulmer. I, yeah, I just go Fulmer. I, excuse me. I'd, I'd say Fulmer. I think Junis is a little bit better, though. But you get two, and generally two starts are better than one. It's against Junis of two versus one situation. Two starts are just in general better than one. Baby steps. Oh, my God. I'm not going to love Fulmer until he has his changeup back. You know, unless or unless he, like, really shows, like, hey, I am dope with, you know, throwing amazing fastballs and perfectly spotted sliders that get whiffs, like, more than, like, five a night or something. Unless we get there, then we're not going to move anywhere. <laughs> I, I Look, I want it to fulminate, right? But it's just... You know, the fulmination isn't coming. <laughs> it's weird. You, you guys know this about me. I, I want to be hyped about stuff. All my hype is never fake. It's never uh, um, just for a show or whatever like that, you know? Uh, I was a Boyd boy back then. And I was really into Michael Fulmer. And then just because it's those guys doesn't mean I'm blind to everything else. You know, I'm an emotional man, not a blind man, right? So the reasons I was interested in them uh thanks for us i uh, you know the reasons i was interested in them they're not that person yet again you know fulmer had yeah it, it's more like fulmer didn't quite put together his entire arsenal you know he had moments when the slider was working and the changeup wasn't and then the changeup was working and the slider wasn't then the fastball wasn't quite there with the command it, it was just like he never quite had it all at once and every year I was like okay I think now he's going to refine this and he can maybe be better than that then he takes a step backward you know it's this constant fight yeah Trevor Rogers man that's working out you know it, it's interesting you never know which one it's going to be is it Logan Webb is it Freddie Peralta is it Trevor Rogers also Trevor Rogers just like yeah hey it's me right great awesome You know, we just don't know. We just don't know. Okay. I'm I'm stalling, so I'm going to stop stalling. I, so, we got to get rid of two more. And I might actually just get rid of Garrett Richards and not Adam after all. Slider isn't there. Okay, we're going to remove Richards. And I guess Kim also. I'm just going to make this easy. I, Richards, Kim... No, I'm not getting rid of Miner. He can bounce back up. It's a possibility. Not doing that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to get rid of Kim. Can't make this easy. All right. Now we are going to throw some guys into you know, into the masses. So we're going to pull up Zach Gallon. Actually, before I do that, before I do that, Nick, <coughs> excuse me, I have to do these wonderful things. So this is a streaming option. I... It's just a streaming option, Toby. Uh, strike it upside. This is gonna ace injury risk. Quality starts. David Peterson, the strike it upside streaming option. He's not really a cherry bomb. I'll just do that. Playing time question: injury risk, low IPS. That's all I'm gonna give you. <laughs> um, streaming option. 
playing time question. That's pretty much it for Junus. Waka is a playing time question. What is he? Streaming option. These are all streaming options, really. Strikeout upside. Cherry bum. Alex Wood has strikeout upside injury risk. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. Streaming option, I guess. And then ace potential is... Yeah, he's not quite there yet. Strikeout upside. Like, just give him an injury risk. I mean, he really should be ace is going to ace, but he hasn't done anything yet this year. I'll do it next week. What's up, Ross? I never heard of uh, Trevor Rogers. Yeah, so that was a, that was an article by Ray Butler. Um, <laughs> look, this is something that I don't think gets mentioned enough. Um, sometimes as a community, it gets we get kind of fortunate. Maybe maybe Ray Butler did mention this, but Trevor Rogers last year was like ninety two point five or 93 miles per hour on his fastball, you know, like it was fine. He had a nice change at the missed bat slider was okay. This year he's throwing like 95 to 96, like touching 98 or whatever, you know, the entire off season, there's zero, zero reason to believe that, you know, I, uh, and like, sometimes we just stumble into that as a fantasy community, right? Like we're just like, okay, cool. We have this type on Trevor Rogers. We don't know how actually he's going to perform. All of a sudden we show, he shows up and he's throwing two takes harder. And it's like, oh, well, great. You know, uh, Roy says, oh man. Yeah. Ray Butler. But I mean, it was a great article that Ray put, Butler put out. And like, regardless of that velocity, like Ray was right about all of stuff. He deserves all the credit for that. I, uh, you know, it, it's just. You know, I, I've seen in the past like people are are high on a guy and someone is low on him, and the process is right. Is is I'll, I'll try and I'll put I'll put it this way. Um, more times than not, in general, we do all of this analysis for six months, so much about everything we can think about from the previous years, and there's a reason why we say we throw it all out the window after two weeks because so often guys are just different. They're either throwing harder or throwing softer. They're incorporating a different pitch out of the blue. Suddenly, this pitch now is getting all the whiffs and not. Sometimes his approach is completely different. And it makes it so, you know, this, what we're doing right now, is actually, like, we're trying to make sense of it all. Um, and it's why, like, I change this every week. I So, I, I guess that's what I'm, going, I'm trying to get at is... It's really, really impossible <laughs> to get guys right in the preseason. It's just, it's just so right, so wrong because, like, ugh. Anyway, that's a, that's enough of a rant about that. Um, yeah, well, right, Justin Dunn. I mean, yeah, he's throwing harder in spring training, and it's actually carried over. Uh, I'm kind of excited about about Dunn. Um, I feel like Zach Allen is low. Oh no, 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 no! I haven't. <laughs> I should start moving this. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's pull them up. Here we go. I mean, I'm going to change this stuff. I'm just getting them up in the in the general vicinity for now. And then we'll go through it. Um, so, okay. We established the bottom. Uh, actually, I didn't remove Wainwright. I kept him over Kim. So let's do that. Let's put him here. Walk, walk is still near the bottom. Let's get. Let's make sure that's right. Same with Fulmer. Joe Ross is like there. Uh, Casey Mize, you're down here. Um, Brady Singer's above it. Nick Pavetta's is uh, not. Taylor Widener, Rich Hill. Okay. So are these guys part of the bottom tier? Not really. Uh, who else is part of this bottom tier? You are. You are ish. Luke Weaver, you almost got bounced. Carlos Martinez is. Um, Scoops kind of is, but I'll leave him up here for now. Logan Webb and Zach Davies. Okay. 
so I want to just kind of establish like this isn't necessarily the order I'm just grouping in my head like okay these are ones that I do not feel good about and would feel very comfortable dropping in my leagues uh Tarek Skubal I'd say is around there too same with Mike Minor-ish now I'd rather the guys I added I'd rather go for Scoople Steve man I did a French presentation uh, with a friend of mine in college that involved Scoobal Steve. I know not Scoobal Steve, but you know what I mean. Because uh, we thought it was hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, Fast mentioned that one on the podcast, which is fascinating. Do I like Dunning or Enoa more the rest of the season? Uh, you're going to see Enoa higher than Dunning today. Yep, I remember when they introduced it last year. They were saying it's a pitcher's park. Like, Gallo complained about right field. Did Scooble get demoted? Is that right? I didn't see any news about that. He's pitching in tandem. Well, all right. Thank you very much. You guys are the best. Let's remove Tarek Scooble. I did not know about that. Well, Kim, you're coming back. And you're at 100. Uh, Toby, plenty of time question, streaming option, ratio focused. Cool. You are, I would say, quality start option, maybe. Where would you Kopech land if you had to rank him today? I mean, I could rank him today, but I don't want to because he's not stretched out at all. Ryan Weathers. Oh, and no, I'm not going to touch Ryan Weathers. I didn't. I'll be honest with you guys. I kind of just like breeze past Ryan Weathers because I know that he wasn't going to start anymore. You know, I didn't really take the time to be like, OK, let's let's really talk about Ryan Weathers. Um, I think he pitched all right, though. Ryan Weathers pretty solid. I mean, Kopech higher, of course. I. Uh, um, but Kopech like. Kopech firmly in the rotation if he's up to 80 pitches or so. Kopech is probably around the 50s. Something like that. Mm. All right, good point about, about Weathers. I uh, So give me two seconds, guys. I'm going to start my cup of coffee. <laughs> I just need to push the button. Uh, and then I and then in like 10 minutes, I got to go and actually like make that cup. It's going to take about 10 seconds. But do not be scared. I'll be right, right back. It's not easy. No, I'm just joking. I'm just, uh, someone changed the rankings around. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm working on this bottom here uh, and making sure there isn't anyone else. I want to drop down dramatically into that territory. And I don't really think so. We're going to get rid of these tiers, by the way. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, I know, I know he can't, but he's not going to be like, like I still have rather have Robbie Ray than these guys because there's still something there, you know, like he's not going to be high, but he's like, I'm going to lower him, but I'm just, you know, like he won't be 70, but he's not going to be 85. Training Granky for McNeil or, or Akiti for Edmund. I wouldn't trade either one. I like them both. I like Granky and Rikidi. Hope that helps. Uh, no, I don't want that. Oh, does Justin have the... Wait, hold on. Let me see really quickly. Phenomenal. Oh, man. Beautiful. Justin finished the uh, the, the list graphic. So, uh, who has a higher, ce higher ceiling between the two? Oh, it's Granky. Easily. Okay, so we're going to go from the top here and go down now. So this is all fine. Because of today, I, I'm doing that. Like, it was, this is an atrocity. And, like, how can I not do that? 
Um, I want to do this. I feel like Bowers are in that. Uh, so here, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to do that. It's just hard not to put Corbin Burns here right now. He's on. No. All right. I'm going to do this. More innings. In the past. Yep. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to do this. I think this is right. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I'm thinking about Zach Gallon and I had him lower in the preseason because of the innings. He's essentially been removed from like 20 innings. That's still not enough. So he's going to get uh he's going to get pushed back at some point. We're going to do this by the way. Uh Sorry, so we're going to do that and then this new tier starts here. I think this looks right to me. Maeda over Jack? No. Flaherty's, Flaherty's been a lot more consistent. Maeda's not been quite there yet. Uh, oh, thanks so much, Jacob, for the, the, the prime sub, man. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, does Hendricks lose? Ace is going to ace. He certainly does. I... Uh, these are gonna the, the tier change is gonna happen so no, that's interesting he's the last one i mean he doesn't really have it either so i'll do that i uh, so he's potential at the very least uh so sandy's going here uh morden is right behind with lance mccullers actually it's like this uh police act is behind Brios is behind. Uh, Granky is here. All right, I'm just gonna just gonna fling him down so we can move on with our lives. Okay. I uh, we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. He doesn't have an AGA yet. So essentially, I always want there to be a tier. Wherever I have the ace is gonna ace. There needs to be some sort of tier, like. I don't like having guys in the same tier that have the AGA label um, versus those that don't, you know? It just doesn't make sense to me. Sandy's getting there, though. I mean, I think he needs, like, two starts right now. He just needs, like, two super dom dominant starts after the, the weird seven run runs. <coughs> really maybe needs three. But I... Uh, there's a part of me that's like, I want to put Sandy above Zach Wheeler. Is that crazy? Oh, no, no. Sonny, I can't give it yet. He didn't pitch like an ace in his first game back. Sorry. Um, But Sonny Gray should be over here, by the way. I probably would do this, actually. Okay, look at this. So many injury risks. Um, Okay. So from here... um. Luzardo and Hendricks are falling, so let's fall them. Let's bring them down. So where is the tier drop here? I would say it's like Musgrove is in the same tier as these guys, right? Yeah. I'll start with Pablo Lopez. Tyler Molly isn't quite. I'll do this. This is fine with me. You guys know I personally love Pablo. Like, I talk to him and, like, just, I'm just, I just give him support, you know, <laughs> like uh, before his starts and after and everything. Uh, and yeah, and it's a, it's a situation where I recognize, like, how good that changeup is. It's remarkably good. Um, I also recognize that there's nothing really left in his repertoire after that. I mean, yes, four seamer command, fastball command is above average easily. 
but cutter and curveball aren't there. And generally, I talk about like you can be a two-pitch pitcher, but when one pitch isn't there, then all of a sudden you really falter. So when the changeup isn't there, he's very weak, right? And that's what happened against Atlanta. So that susceptibility makes him makes me hesitate putting him in this tier with the other guys, you know? Um, and I feel very weird. Like, I think especially with Pablo relative to pretty much anyone else, like, I don't want to speak negatively about him at all, but I also have to, you know, I have to be honest with everybody. <laughs> I can't, I can't take biases in this way. Um, I'm not really, it's not really that negative. I think he agrees with it. It's just, uh, you know, um, you're, these are humans. <laughs> All right. Uh, would I rather have John Means or Kyle Hendricks? I'd rather have John Means and Kyle and Kevin Gaussman. Let's get rid of this. Uh, this is actually probably where it's going to be. I would probably want to have Montes at the moment. I believe Tyone's going to pull it around before Hendricks does. Trevor Rogers, come on up, buddy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean give me a reason not to do this everybody uh, means are you talking about means or uh, okay, you're waiting for the home runs to hit I mean means has done great work I, I'd be I, I honestly could put means and in, in flop Rogers and means Oh, I'm not putting him in the top 30. No way. Um, Yeah, well, this actually, I haven't really thought about this. Luzardo and Ian Anderson. Yeah, I mean, okay. If I can't, uh, I love you guys saying this stuff because if I can't defend it, if I feel hesitant or I feel one way or another, if I can't give you a good reason why not, then it exposes that, yeah, I should be doing that or not, right? Uh, Mango, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, I'm giving him April credit. Uh, I I think that Kluber, it's like, I make the list about what I think moving forward. I think Kluber, innately, we believe that he needed some time to warm up. I think we're still seeing that. Um, I might lower him slightly, but we're in this like weird tier of underperformers. Kyle Hendricks, Kluber, Paddock. I mean, Orkiti really hasn't shined yet. Stroman doesn't do quite enough for me to think like, oh, he's way above this. Same with Montgomery and May and stuff. Like it gets really questionable. I mean, I got to throw in some higher guys here, but don't look at the number. Think of the relative field here, right? That's why like Rogers is ahead. You know, it means are, you know, all that stuff. This is that's why there's a teardrop. Isn't Rogers just Gaussman with the third pitch? No, no, totally different, totally different guys. Isn't like everyone, yeah, teardrop, yeah. <laughs> uh, I I was thinking the same thing as I said it. So okay, hold on. Let's look at this really quickly. Pablo Lopez, Aaron Savali, Jesus Lazardo, Ian Anderson, Means, Gaussman, Rogers. Means, Gaussman, Rogers are all like the exciting trio right now, right? And Luzardo underperforming. Ian Anderson underperforming. Savali, in many ways, is not really, like, that stud. Uh, Lopez goes back and forth, but I think you can very much depend on Lopez. I feel much more comfortable about Molly and Bundy than I do the rest there. There's a part of them that wants to just put, do it Molly, Bundy, Means, Gaussman, Rogers, and then do Pablo, Savali, Luzardo, Ian Anderson. I, 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 very, I can feel that strongly, but... I am going to say, look, Ian Anderson can recover. Luzardo can quickly recover. Aaron, Aaron Savali should be developing further and has done well while he's not totally finished yet. Uh, Pablo Lopez, you know, hopefully he gets more consistency with like a cutter or figures out that curveball, essentially. Uh, or just isn't inconsistent with the changeup. And if he's just always good with that changeup or 90% of the time good with it, then, like, that's good enough. So I'm going to leave it at as, as it is right now. I think this, I, I, I need to, I need to let the others, I need to let this soak in more, you know, before I really shift this. 
Yeah, well, that's the thing, Ross. Exactly. They need, they're they safer. And as much as I want to push these guys farther, I can't. Yeah. And I'm also going to, I think, do this. If you guys notice, again, I'm not quoting whip. I'm not quoting ERA. You know? I'm not really quoting strikeouts. I'm just like, where are they at with their stuff? Oh, yeah. I haven't touched that yet. I haven't touched that yet. Halo, Halo Coop. <sighs> I just wanted to establish this. But, yeah. I'm, I, this is now getting blown up. So, Tyler should lead the way here. Um, <sighs> so, we are going to move up Rodon. Uh, I'm probably going to pull Paddock underneath here. Uh this is I'm just, I'm just gonna kind of leave this for right now. I uh, I know Jordan Montgomery hasn't really been this overwhelming guy yet, but I think you guys can kind of see the underlining performance, like how he's actually pitching and stuff, is really good. Hendrix, Hendrix has been like incredibly shaky, and his like fastball hasn't been as hard. His curveball wasn't there. A still ill is like directly off of like an injury, and he wasn't. Ace potential? I don't. I mean, I sure actually. You know what? Yeah, I'm fine with. I'm fine with adding that. Jacob Arizzi, he's got a fall, but anyway. I uh, oh the COVID I uh, IL is what you're saying. If you don't, well, he was also underperforming before it too. Um, but I, I didn't. I didn't see any news that like Hendrix was had like sickness, and for yesterday's start, that's news to me. Maybe I am not giving him enough of a off for that. Now, let me look at that. Oh, yeah, right. He got skipped because of, Ill of an illness. It was just him being right. He got one start skipped. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I don't. I think he's. I think he's just generally off, you know. And I don't know. Is that the, maybe it was the illness that pulled him back? But I. <laughs> I uh, uh, hold on. Go get Uzardo while you still can. Yeah, I mean, he's still up there because of that. And keep in mind, like, I'm not... 41 Hendricks around here is still, like, good. I feel much more confident that these guys are moving forward. Luzardo's stuff is just better. Ian Anderson is going to be fine. So, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm fine with this. Okay, we're going to move on. Uh, this is, like, this order is okay, good. This is where it starts getting weird. Um, so I think the tier is going to end after Dustin May. Uh, whoever this person is. Okay, Freddie Peralta needs to jump up, though, over here. Uh, and I know y'all are going to freak out, but you shouldn't when I do this. I'm going to pull you all the way down. This was the This was one of the guys I wanted down here. Let's go there. I'm going to pull you underneath this. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Hey, hey, I'm giving. I'd rather take a chance on Fulmer. <laughs> he keeps coming up. Because it's like, I don't want to roster these guys. I'm like, sure, whatever. As much as I'm saying I don't believe it, I'm still going to. be. I'd rather take a chance on it. You know? keeps going up yep oh my god what what is happening right now <laughs> i don't want to deal with zach davies <sighs> okay i think i might stop there oh yeah of course freddie Pralt is moving up <laughs> wasker you know over mckenzie yeah oh i gotta make my coffee all right here we go. 
So my coffee's been made. I just gotta like add almond milk uh, to it. So hold on. Let me do that. Meanwhile, you guys debate this. What order should this be in? Discuss. I'll be right back. What'd you guys decide? What was the consensus here? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. I. Uh, so what do we decide? Uh, Paddock Bassett, Corbin, Rodriguez, Kikuchi, or just you? It was the coffee maker. <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at this chat, guys. I'm proud of you. Let's see here. So we have, I'll be honest, that game, very few pitches were hit by the Cubs. Very few. And yet, just two pitches. Just two pitches is like so many guys. <laughs> Tyler Molly, just two pitches. Kevin Gaussman, just two pitches. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep going up to just two pitches. I. Uh, Last night was two pitches. Pretty much Brandon Woodruff is just two pitches. Danielson the Met in his prime is just two pitches. Pablo Lopez in many ways is just two pitches. You can have a lot of success with just two pitches. Freddie Peralta, who we're all on about, just two pitches. Carlos Rodon, actually, no, he incorporated that changeup. Uh, Paddock, when he's working, is just two pitches for the most part. So, I mean, there's... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, okay. So before you believe it, if you're believing it, that's top 40, right? Th th I think that's what I'm getting at. Right now, we're in this sea of like disappointments. I mean, you have like, okay, I'm, I'm buying this a little bit, but man, it gets like, w this is a mess. It's a mess. So why Inoa over McKenzie? McKenzie's repertoire isn't that great and McKenzie has a really tough schedule um I don't know if actually it is Inoa over McKenzie I'm leaning that way I think his stuff is electric um amazing fastball and really good slider McKenzie is uh 
He's not that great, and Cleveland has a really bad schedule. Um, I don't know if he was that filthy. Uh, so, okay, so it's, uh, I got you, McRobbie. Um, right now, we're going with 38 Trevor Rogers and 44 Marcus Stroman. Uh, let's see. I need to get Evaldi up. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. He has been performing. I mean, he's right down here. Oh, Descalfani needs to be up here too, actually. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. So I gotta start. I gotta start actually like shifting things around proper. So, uh, what we're gonna do from here? I'm gonna go Kikuchi, Corbin. I know. Give me a second. Get rid of this stuff. Uh, okay, let's make a little to Toby tier here. Who do I like out of these? It's Keichel over Bass uh, Bassett. Keichel. Eh. Uh, is there any other, like... Oh, yeah, Pineda has to go up, which is shocking, but he needs to go up. Taiwan Walker should be inside this tier here. Uh, Shamanai should be at the back of it. Eflin should be uh, around the front of it. Um, Evaldi can be around the back of it. Do I like Evaldi or Marco Gonzalez? I'll go Evaldi. Um, is there any other like kind of Toby-esque things? No. So this is a, a little mini tier. Yarbrough is going to be pulled out of this. Um, you could theoretically push up. Shoemaker, Singer... Um, I think at the very least, Gibson is underneath them. Uh, Brew Baker should be up here. Coffee cakes, come on down. Um, Steven Matz should be above this though. He's essentially a Vargas rule right now, so let's go here. There's method to this madness, guys. I'm essentially making a little mini tier. I'm going to actually just say, just put this for now. That's not the start of the tier. I'm just trying to rope it together. Um, cause that will be a tier. I just don't know where the end is yet. <clears throat> uh, and then essentially what we do is we establish, do we like, once we have this kind of like, all right, you need some reasonable floor and things. Sure. You have this grouping, right? Uh, what do you see? <clears throat> I, what do you see in coffee cakes is ceiling to, what do you see coffee cakes is ceiling to be? Uh, not too high, honestly. I think it's just a really a good slider and solid fastball command. And nothing else, really. No, no, no. Don't worry. Like, this is... I haven't... I, I'm just grouping a Toby tier. Not not finalized at 55 or anything. I'm just like, hey, among these, like, stability guys, this is where it is. Now, I will likely want Enoa and McKenzie and I think Heaney... Above and Boyd all above them. So final way, might, might as well just start doing that now, right? It's just so you guys know. Okay. Uh, do I want all of these more than these? Probably not. Um, I think Jago Odorizzi's down here now. He needs more volatile than Boyd. I. Uh, 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 okay. Um, we're gonna do that for now and essentially now there's the question is like do i want to take a chance on someone or go after the toby tier and that's kind of what where my head is at matt is going to be above Eff Eflin. uh thanks for the follow r6 half yeah guys guys you got to understand the rankings you're seeing are i'm just shifting around until i get to things that i like okay do not react to like the number or the spot right now Unless I'm saying, I like this guy over that guy, then you can say, hey, I don't. And I want to hear that. Should I drop Descalfani for JT Brubaker? Well, let's do this really quickly. Brubaker gets a lovely two starts against the Tigers and Royals. Descalfani gets, um, oh, is that right? Oh, I thought he was going to get Miami again. Oh, it's probably because Wood came back and bumped everything a day. But he does get Rocky Road. Uh, I I guess Brubaker is a little safer at the moment. 
uh, I'll probably have I probably have it like this. I'm not even joking. I uh, do I want Otani? I do. I want Otani above all this. Probably at the end of it. Oda Rizzi actually I think belongs inside of this. Um, let's actually put him. I'm gonna do this actually. Hold on. Hold on a second. We're gonna go with this for right now. I. Uh, speaking of all of these guys. A singer, you're at the bottom of this. You belong inside of it. Okay, good, good. Now we've reached this. All right, wood needs to come up here. Now we have like an interesting tier. So like the Scafani wood done. By the way, not solidified up here yet. I don't know if I'm like how I feel about this. I'm just kind of grouping as I go. That's this is the way. Uh, Cease is actually super fascinating right now. I. Uh, Shoemaker is on a roll. Um, Gibson is low, and I know that's going to upset some people, but that's okay. Oh, we're, we're getting actually really close, guys. So much movement. This is what happens. Once you get out of, like, this is, the list is really, like, two sections. It's the side of, like, hey, these guys are legitimately good, and you should be trusting them. That ends around, um, I want to say, 45 or so. You know, like, like Tyone and Hendricks and Kluber and Erkidi and Stroman and Montgomery and Rodan and May and Peralta. So we're going to start. I mean, that's not necessarily what's going to where it's going to be. But like, that's the I don't expect them to really be like, we're done with you. Right. Maybe it could be done with Montgomery, Rodan. I feel, you know, less confident in them than I do in this tier. But essentially the list is like that where there isn't so much movement in these. This is like, okay, little things here and there. But once you get past this, it's like waiver wire time, you know? Okay, these aren't the guys that I trust to be like the studs through the year and stuff. So I'm going to move them around. I'm going to be like trying to find someone to keep entering this tier like Peralta did and Rodon did. Um, and like Trevor Rogers did, right? Like that's all we're looking for. We're looking for those that actually are people we trust to actually be good through the year. So I hope I hope you really grasp like how the list is created like that. Um, because that's how it's supposed to be in 12-teamers. You're supposed to be ebbing and flowing with it. Just added a Kluber and dropped Corbin. Wish you luck. Hey, man, I think that should be good. Um, I think also June 1st and beyond, both of them are going to be great. So, yeah, we're hoping that Corbin can creep back into that that tier where Peralta is now. We're hoping. So are the Rangers going to let Dunning go at some point? Uh, I don't think that Dunning's skill set is so amazing. That's, I think, the major problem for me. Uh, and I think he has a bad schedule now. He does. He's got three tough now. So that's kind of why I'm lower on, on Dunning than I think people want me to be. Uh, this seems right to me at the moment. Like, I prefer Dunn to Dunning. Like, he wish he's Dunning. What, Justin Dunning? I don't know. I'm just going to stop. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I think Oda Rizzi should improve. That's the thing. I think he can elevate further. Safe. Somewhat safe. Marco Gonzalez is, oh, man, I'm going to do that. Get out of here. <laughs> I just want to not have Marco Gonzalez on my teams, but I recognize that, like, I know it's a bias. So I got to counteract it. Okay. So, fine. Let me Let me just solidify this for all of you. Kikuchi, Corbin, Paddock, Eduardo Rodriguez, Pineda, Wasker. Okay. Tristan. You're going to get the Yankees, the Twins, the Royals, and the Reds. Not great, Bob. Not great. And it doesn't really get easier as the season goes on. Oh, nice mango. Okay. <laughs> you know what? He gets... He won't get skipped. Uh, Arizona. I mean, why would you skip him and not like Bryce Wilson or, or Kyle Wright? Uh, Arizona, um, Chicago, Washington. Three better s matchups. But, I mean, Toronto. So, essentially, like, <clears throat> it's three out of four versus one out of four. 
Inoa versus McKenzie. So I think in the short term, like that Arizona start, primo, primo. <laughs> I this is why I think I'm going to have you know ahead of ahead of McKenzie. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I just don't think that McKenzie's finished yet. I think maybe second half McKenzie. Like this could change in like a week or two. Yeah, unless you're Corbin. Well, Corbin was. Ugh. This was pain. Um, like real pain. And this is a pick of like, or a placement of, of long term as opposed to short term. Like I kind of want like a mini tier here of, here. Can I do this? No. I want to have like a mini tier that's just Corbin and Paddock. I might do that. Yeah. Okay. This is this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have Paddock above Corbin. And I'm gonna place them both like right here is this right i don't think this is right this doesn't feel right but i want it to be like a mini tier you know <laughs> just like hey you guys are annoying but kukuchi deserves to be above them so does erod no okay i'm not doing this no nope. i'm not doing it would I rather Ross right now? Paddock or Corbin? It's gonna still be Corbin. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna leave that. I, uh, this is fine. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna leave it as this here. This is this is fine. I uh, okay. And then we establish this. Bassett, Mats, Eflin, Keuchel. You know what? Thanks. I, <laughs> uh, yeah. Eflin to me is is like, is kind of a loose cannon. It's interesting. I think y'all are overreacting to his Cubs start. You know, I uh, the Cubs start wasn't that great. Uh, sorry, wasn't as bad as you think it was. We'll watch it. Actually, yeah. Why not? I want to do this. Maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something. I want to make sure I want to I want to be able to 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 feel strong as strong as possible about this. So we're gonna do this right now. That's not the right date. Is it here? Okay. Uh, what was the treble inning? This is believe it or not my way of getting like the play by play best. Is uh, is this? Don't don't hate me. All right, we're gonna we're gonna talk about. Well, I guess it was the third was his major trouble inning, but I mean, well, I'm gonna start from the first. I'm gonna start from the first inning. Okay, we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Oh, do not bug me. Okay. It's good fastball, 95. One and one. Another 99 on the black. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, guys, did you see that? I mean... I just, uh, I don't know. Am, am I crazy? It's 99. You don't just get that every day. Like, he's going to miss probably with a slider here. Yeah, he bounced it fine. Are they going to do that again? Again, okay, here we go. Probably another better slider, a fastball. 98. Like, Jesus. This is what I'm seeing. This is why I'm, I want to chase this. I mean, I've been like, come on. I'm just saying, uh, I, and I, I understand the volatility of this, but give this guy more time, give them like more, more opportunities, especially against like the Diamondbacks. I don't see why you want, want to go for this 96. So that's a strike. So here comes Wilson Contreras. He's going to hit a solo shot now. And that's actually a really good slider. Look at this. 
That's that's a that's a really good I need a strike slider. I don't know how Contreras just hit that out. That's a fantastic pitch. Like that's not a hanger. That's a that you see that all day. That's great. Like yeah, isn't you know essentially Lomet? Well, no, a little different because I uh, Lomet for two things. One, Lomet had a better has a better breaker, and two, I think Anoa has a little bit more like overall control. And I say control, not necessarily command. But Lomet is just like all over the place at times and stuff. Like, dude, that that home run, like, all right, whatever, ninety seven up. I don't think I need to say anything more here. Do I? Like, <laughs> this is. This skill set is really good. Woo! <laughs> I think he had, in this start as a whole, I think, what, was it 36% CSW at the end of the day? 33%. 39 and 44 was four-seamer and, and slider. Sinker at zero? No, no, no. No, that's wrong. One of the whiffs was, I think, a, a, a sinker. And we just saw it to hap. But... These actually got outs, by the way. These balls in play were outs. And the, the, so these are strikes. That's actually 5 for 10, 50% strikes on it. Um, I'm just saying, look, I, I'm, I'm sticking with Anoa over here. All right? This is uh, Anoa, I think I'm, I'm keeping him everywhere. It, it, it's amazing. Right? Like... I, I'm not going to lie about, you know, I'm, I'm never going to, um, I'm never going to make up facts. I'm never going to throw in stats just to, to, to verify, like, my ranking of them. You know what I mean? I did that legitimately because I wanted to prove to myself that I still felt the same way. How's that slider fast look after 70 pitches, though? Same? I mean, I I didn't see any... Um, how many, actually, you know what, let's look at this. How many pitches has, you know, been throwing, uh, per game? I will argue, when I argue, I will mention that he's going to be throwing more and more pitches as the season goes on, and he does this more often. I, I mean, he probably got pulled from this one, this is 72, but, what about the other starts? Uh, oh, you don't have it here? You should have it here. Oh man, this is so many hoops for this. Eighty-two. Sixty-eight. So I would say that, and let's actually, you know, let's look at this one specifically. Illustrator, um, pitch chart velocity. So we can kind of see. Okay, so he starts off hot, 98. Uh, this was 95, and then he did drop. I This is probably like a sinker or something in the dirt. And he goes down to 95. This is a very valid point. Uh, Inoa needs to get more stamina. Yep. I imagine if like he's throwing 98 in a 6 or so, like he's not going to be 55. I'm, I'm still buying it on Inoa. I think that he gets better. If all the had 10Ks today... All right, I need to I need to take that into account. What is this? What is he using? Man, the cert resurgence of the slider and and curveball. Oh my god! Yes, he's getting the lead tomorrow. I'm gonna watch this. Ah, <sighs> Uvaldi, where are you now? Come on up, buddy. This is crazy. Where where is he locating them? Uh, where do I want I want this? So curveballs for strikes, sliders as a whiff pitch, and it looks like there's splitters in there too. Uh, a splitter. These are not good splitters, by the way. That is that is not what you want to do as a splitter. You want these are the good ones. 
ball. It's not even telling me what it is. That's annoying. But these called strike and play outs run. Called strikes. You got lucky with those called strikes. Um, Curveball. These are right. This is actually pretty good. Swing strike. Ball. Oh, I can't see. All right. Swing strike. These should be like outs and called strikes, essentially. Yep. This is good stuff. Much better, much better uh, curveball. That's really good. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Yeah, this seems right, I guess, given that information. I, oh, oh this, is so, this is so difficult every week. <laughs> I might do this. I might do this. This makes me feel better. If he's doing that stuff, like, that's ridiculous. Okay. We're going to leave this and come back later. All right? Cool. So over here, Tony Disco would cease done Shoemaker Ray. This is great. I feel very good about this. Um, down here, this is kind of the right order. Um, wow, if I just go like this. Okay, so the very bottom, I already had this order. Who is like the, the start of this tier? I guess it's here. And then there's a secondary tier here, which starts about Hmm. No. Miner is coming down though to here. Ah, this is so close. This is all pretty even. Okay. This seems right to me. Yep. I think we got it. Guys, I think we got it. I gotta I gotta double check, but you know, I'm I'm feeling like this is the the blueprint. I don't know if Heaney Heaney's the one that's I think out of whack. And boy, uh, I'm 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 doing this too. Um, Pineda has just been un trucking, and it's unbelievable. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Oh, I uh, thank you. Don't forget the notes, Mango. You're the best. It's both, Ross. I didn't we. It gets tougher. I mean, maybe he does. Maybe both of them. I mean, I think I think my hesitation was this. Like, I want Junus right under Fulmer. But I didn't want to put Fulmer above, below Miley. But it might just be this trio needs to get moved up. Like, I actually might be... I might do this right now. So, let's just... I, I appreciate you saying something. Um... This is hard. Uh, I'd rather take the chance here right now. Yeah, all right. I'll do this. This feels good, though. Okay, let's, let's, let's leave it at this. This is fine. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I like these moves the best. Yeah, because Fulmer keeps going. He's not in the top 80, okay? It's just 83. <laughs> Um, Ray, I understand completely. Uh, I think it's, I think this is, this is one of your like higher volatile plays, right? Like, um, I mean, this is total cherry bomb injury risk, yep, yep, all this stuff. So it's, it's one where that, yeah, he could easily fall off more, but we still don't really know Robbie Ray yet. It's been two starts he's had. And I don't I actually don't even know if I like this Yarbrough slot right now. 
I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to pull him down. Like, there's no reason. Ah, he just did well against the, no, I'm pulling him back up. Eh, here. There we go. All right, but I mean, he has only, it's only had two starts. And he was already in the first one. I think we're good. One more check over. Here we go. This is it. This is it. And then I do the notes. And you guys are going to make me do the notes with you. <laughs> um, so that I can publish it. Uh, by the way, last chances. Last chances. Right now, make your guess. Make your guess as to... Uh, who the cover photo for the, the list is this week. We've seen a good variety of them. I Last opportunity to make your guests be registered and recorded as to who is the feature picture on the list graphic this week. <laughs> DeGrom, love that. Glasnow from Love Brother. Trevor Rogers every week. <laughs> Love that. Uh, Corbin Burns. Rodon. Sandy Alcantara. These are wonderful guesses, guys. Rodon and Caps. Kershaw earlier, but now it's Alcantara. Okay. Rodon Caps. <laughs> Uh, Wheeler Alcantara on the colors. I think that's right. I know he was sick though, and like nothing really changed. I might keep more in above him though. Now I'll leave it. No, this isn't. Actually, it is a different tier. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very close, but yeah, it's a different tier here. Actually, I might do that. I'm going to do that. And Bundy above Molly. This seems better because, like, these guys are really proving it, and these are a little bit more shaky. Friggin' Montes deserves to be in this. This is this whole thing. Arkady doesn't deserve the same love as Marcus Stroman. Marcus Stroman's much more solid at the moment. Uh, I think people are going to want Rodon over Montgomery, and I agree with this. Kikuchi at 49, Nick. Yeah. I like where he's at. <laughs> I kind of want to do a mini tier here. All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. Then we can move on with life. I think that's just way more fun. I uh, Don't f screw the numbers. I just wanted to be able to do that. I didn't feel like Kikuchi belonged in that tier yet. This is throwing me off. Like Heaney and Otani. But it's fine. Bassett, Mats, Eflin. Oh, I can't do this. I keep going back to it. And Minaya, but I can't have him over Minaya. I'm just going to throw Heaney in here. You're just, you're just in the middle of it, okay? You're right there. We're just going to deal with that. <laughs> You're not a cherry bomb. I don't really call you a Toby anymore. You are a Toby. You are a Toby and you are a Toby. Okay, so with this, it's Bassett, Matt's. Heaney did survive the Twins, but I think it's just too volatile. Like, these are... I don't think I'm going to get to a point where I'm like, Heaney, got it, go. 
You know, I think he's just going to constantly be this back and forth. And so among the sea of like stability ish, like you have Heaney. Uh, in a 10 teamer, you can, you can let go of Odorizzi. Oh, Mercedes is pitching. Oh my God. Thank you, Giolito, for that. Uh, Montgomery over May. Yes. Uh, Mon May uh, is a low IPS guy. There's a little bit more question. I think Montgomery's skill set is better than May's. Believe it or not. I think it just breeds more consistency. And Montgomery's gotten really unlucky. He had a 0.8 whip the other day. And like, so was well, four and run. Seven Ks and then a 0.8 whip. And it was unbelievably efficient of the Rays uh, to get all four runs against him. <laughs> Chris Davis, you got to throw him in there, Ross. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. This seems right. Everyone's going to be upset about Kyle Gibson, but I hate the schedule. I don't think his stuff is that great. Peterson just flashed some legit upside. Yarbrough is a little bit more of a stability guy. This is this. Yep. Yep. Do I want a Rich Hill here? I don't think so. I'd probably have to take a chance on Waka, I guess. Cool. All right. We're all set. So here it is. Here's the list, y'all. Save it and then publish it. Oh, that's interesting. No, no. Kluber is Kluber's already at a better place than those two guys are. I don't have as much concern about Kluber as I do the other two. He needs to be 100. That's a reliever. I don't have relievers on the list. Sorry, Alan Vaughn. <laughs> um, there you go, guys. Uh, so, and for those that were wondering, what is, I gotta send this to fast really quickly. I got to do the preview post link to him. Um, all right. The notes. Yes, I'll do the notes, Ross. I will do the notes. Thank you. But first, I need to reveal to you Tyler Glasnow. Whoever picked Tyler Glasnow, congratulations. Look at that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite parts of this. Absolutely gorgeous. You could kick. Hey, you want a high leg kick? It's a good follow through thing. Very good follow through. All right. Let's get rid of that. Set the featured image. We're going to update our fringe table. So, uh, what happened to Ross Stripling? Oh yeah. Oh man. I don't need to I don't need to add this, I guess. Well, what was it, forearm injury? Oh, wait, is Danny Duffy on the list? Oh, no. Uh, sorry, Kim. I knew I was forgetting someone. Uh, streaming option, Toby. 
quality starts. You. You're going right here. You're throwing 95. 94, 95. Sorry, Kim. This is what happens. Even though I do all my due diligence, I still forget, guys. Uh, you're going off. No, 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 no. Nope. No one else is getting the same treatment. Is it confirmed that Turnbull is coming back this week? If it is confirmed, I'm going to wait, Eric. It's not fully 100% confirmed, right? Excuse me. Oh, I see. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm just going to leave Turnbull and uh, and Lament off for now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him at top thirty. Uh, we're gonna remove Sunny Gray here. We're gonna remove Carlos Carrasco. Sorry, uh, Zach Allen. We're not gonna remove Carlos Carrasco yet, because I know that might be coming back too, which is exciting. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see. I hate that phrase so much. Uh, da, 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 da. okay. Um, cool. That's fine. Lamet, where's Lamet on this? He's he's top. He's not top thirty. He's top twenty-five. I'll just say top 25 SP. Okay. This is fine. Uh, we're going to add a couple rows because we have new guys that are getting removed here. Um, so Tarek Scoobal. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I uh, Who else? Advert Alzole. Steven Strasberg. I'll do that one up there, though. Same with Max Freed. Appreciate you guys sticking around and making me do this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Um... I don't do periods inside of this. Okay. Um, so we got Tarek. Okay, Dean Kramer. I. Uh, Quato wasn't on it last week, was he? I'm like, oh, Lance Lynn, get Lance Lynn in here. Um, okay. Drew Smiley. What was it with Drew Smiley? With what? Come on, Google, give it to me. Forearm. <laughs> Uh, he's a top 70 SP. So Dean Kramer, then it's Jose de Leon. I'll add Cueto here. Maybe not, actually. I think he's... Let's just not. Uh, Mikey fulton is already there. I didn't remove him last week. 
Oh, I did it again. All right, fine. I have the room. Oh, no, I need to add Kim. That's nice ball watching it alternate. Uh is it? Yeah, it is. I uh, was was he only on demoted to the pen? He was, right? Not not to the alternate site. Yeah, pen. Okay. Cool. So I got rid of all the removals. That's done. I uh, Garrett Richards, is he being mentioned here? Yes. Not sure he's good enough. Okay. Cool. Got that, got that. Nothing repeated. I. Okay, I'm going to add two more for uh, Aaron Sanchez and Jeff Hoffman. And then I'll also mention Johnny Cueto. Right, that's what happened, Johnny Cueto. Lat, right? He's top 100. Like, right at 100. Um, I'm just going to do this. All right, cool. Uh, so now, the mountain of notes. Oh my God, it's gonna. This is gonna take like 45 minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Zach. I'm sorry. You, this is actually super good. For my Monday work productivity. Amazing. Amazing. I hope that Antone does get a chance in the rotation. It's just, I mean, he might overtake Hoffman. That'd be cool. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, Lance Lynn injury is, is killing me too. That, that's really, really painful. Uh, all right, more. sorry, give me a quick second. <laughs> so now, okay, so I got to, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm distracted by the guillotine league and now all the players are on the waiver wire and I have to get some. I didn't capitalize last week and I should have. There's some really good players on, the, on her waiver wire that I need to get. I just need to do it. So, so yeah. You gotta do it. Um, all right. I have to do the notes now. So I'm going to save this draft. Then I preview it and then I look at the uh, then I look at the list just to see the movement so that I can essentially answer the things that everyone else will be thinking doing it. I don't I don't hate Lance Lynn. I think there's, uh, I think the reason he's not like top 10 or it wasn't like in the Maeda or Gallon range for me um, is only because I think his ratios in general, he doesn't have the same ceiling as the others of being like a hovering a one whip and a hovering a, a three or sub three ERA. 
Lance Lynn is like a 3-3 three, three with a 115 whip guy. That That's just what he's going to be. You know, he's been that way, and we don't really expect him to be more than that. So that's why we have this kind of wall that we created where everyone else can, they can leapfrog it, where he's just kind of chilling out that wall. You know, other one, everyone else needs to run up to it and then jump over it. And maybe they can, maybe they can't. Well, Lynn is just kind of at it, you know? I hope that, I hope that explains the whole thing, Zach. All right. <clears throat> When did we do that? Okay, so. Let's do this. Let's, let's make the notes. The wonderful, wonderful notes everyone needs to read and I got to make good ones so that it's a reference point for everybody all right and thank you for sticking around and forcing me to do the notes before I take a break and then all of a sudden this gets out later and all that stuff I got to power through it and I can take a break while I wait for fast and actually honestly not take a break and just take care of the other things I need to take care of today uh, Zach, I'm not disagreeing with you. Ratio, I mean, that's half of the thing. Quality start league is higher. Ross is right about that. Uh, it's, you know, it, it, the strikeouts are, the volume is good. It's just ratios are a thing. And the fact that he doesn't have that same ceiling is why you don't see the ranking of it. I will say, if he wasn't hurt, he probably would have been 13 today or 14. It would have been like Glasnow, Woodruff, Burns, Lynn, then Flaherty, then uh, the rest. Huh. Stop that, Ross. I uh, no, no, Bueller. Bueller is gonna have a better is better ERA and 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 WHIP. Like the floor. If you want to talk about floor, like Bueller's is amazing. It's just about the volume and like that's the that's the the balance you make, but Bueller's quality is, is higher than Lynn's. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ross. I'm I'm very happy you feel that way. I uh, it, it's cool to be able to do this stuff and keep me on my you know, keep me focused, essentially. <clears throat> but uh, I need more water, honestly. Can you explain why you don't have concerns about Kluber? I obviously do have concerns about Kluber. If I didn't have concerns about Kluber, he'd be inside the top 40. Um, I don't have as many because I do feel two things. One, he essentially needs to get back into rhythm. This is a guy who hasn't really been pitching consistently for two years. Uh, and I think that compounded with his general April struggles, which is he's notorious for, make me feel that over time Kluber does get much better. I will also say Cutter has been great. Like, that was a really, really good pitch in his last one. Breaker has gotten a lot of whiffs, too. I think it's just something that over time, Kluber, being a methodical guy that he is, he's going to get to that position. Not to mention, the Yankees are not as bad offensively and defensively as they have been. Them as a whole team are going to get better. I think when that happens, morale does improve and does affect pitching, too, and does elevate Kluber. So I think... With the um, with the easy starts ahead, and he does have Atlanta next, but then after that, I believe it's the Tigers. I think he should improve. I don't think that about Boone. I don't feel that at all. I feel like he also has, I uh, he also doesn't get to make as many decisions as you think he he should. I mean, it's very well documented how uh, Girardi wasn't brought back because he wasn't a puppet essentially to Cashman and Co. And Boone was brought in for this. You know, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's, you know, different. Anyway, I'm going to actually write the notes now so we can continue. Uh, all right.
What was it, six and run brigade? Uh, six or eight? I think it was six. Maybe seven. How are you doing in league so far? Anything crazy? I uh, it was a bad week the past week. Uh but more mostly I mean mostly I'm just kind of like meddling. Like I've won one, lost one. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because most of the leagues I'm in are like the long weeks. You know, like in tout, I think I'm two and one. I uh, did I pull it off yesterday? Um mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, man. So now I'm one and two. I didn't pull it out yesterday. Oh, well, it's with a comeback. Um, but I uh, doing fine in TGFBI. I uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm just doing fine. And that's that's kind of by design. You guys know me. It's about <clears throat> like I, I purposefully ramp up when it comes. I get like I get better at pitching through the year, you know. So I'm not supposed to be like the greatest out of the gate well yeah i'm not really supposed to easily guillotine it's not even it's ah oh, guillotine is the best one it's the, it's the most the one i care about most because it's the most tension like literally like you're done with the league it's over if you lose every week you know like that ah oh, that, that adrenaline just no, it's great because like for me too, who is also cannot spend as much time as I want to on every league, like I can't. I'm like stretched thin, right? I it's perfect because if I lose, then I have one less league that I need to one fewer league, right? Uh, so that works for me. That's I, I remember talking to Miles. I was like, okay, that's the one I'm going to agree to, because of that. All right, uh, that's not how you spell Giolito. That's not how you spell it. Actually, I'll do this to help you guys out. I'm going to bring this in so that you can see the entirety of what I'm writing. Ta-da. Okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking at the stamina? Yeah. No, I just did that phrase. Okay, um, two, three is. Did Maeda even pitch in the past week? I don't think he did. It's not, it's not fair, but it's like those other guys are doing it, you know? There's a mini draft? Oh, like once. Wait, wait. What point, Matt? <laughs> oh, sorry, Zach. He did. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 4.1. Thanks. Thanks. So that is fair. Okay. Yeah. Mm 
Someone just asked on the website if I like Bruce Zimmerman over Matt Shoemaker. The answer is no if you're watching this right now. There you got the Gallows poll. Fascinating. Uh, Whitlock ever gets on rotation? I have no idea. I I'm, I'm thinking he's a bullpen arm, if I had to guess. Uh, if he's getting a lot today, maybe. But uh, I wouldn't be banking on it for now. And then generally when like you see a guy go from the bullpen to the rotation... It takes time, too, so it's not even something that you want when that does happen. You know, it, it's it's annoying. Like, even Burns last year, he didn't really get five, six innings until, like, he got it first, and then he got pulled down to three or so, and they just went back and forth, and then he finally got that consistency in the last, like, five starts. So, yeah, it was a little, a little frustrating. Do you think, oh yeah, I'm just looking at it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, all right, moving on to By allowing seven or runs across his last two starts. Um. Got to do this first. Uh, there's another, right? Those are three major ones. But then uh, Drew Smiley, I think, is the other one I'm thinking of. Yeah.
Oh, come on. Come on, more press. You can do it. There you go. I'm pretty sure El Sandy Alcantara has thrown at least six innings in each start. Yes. Wow. He's allowed... He's allowed 10 earned runs. I even want to compare him to like Lance Lynn in this way. Right. Um. I just one word. No, that's fine. Sunny Gray has returned. Man, so many notes. So many notes. Oh. I mean, last week, I think I wrote 2,000 words. <laughs> oh, my. We're going to get this done before 3, guys. It's going to go out at 3. 3 o'clock. Okay, I got to make sure there's nothing else actually scheduled out for 3 o'clock. Give me a quick second. I don't want it to conflict with the schedule. When are you coming out? Three o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna make you at four. <laughs> this is a cool piece. Alex Kleiman doing this week in baseball history. It's a really nice graphic too. It's coming out at four o'clock now. Go just write a note for each player and embed in the table. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. It changes every week. Ah, uh, no. It's just this is just a way better method. I like it before it, so like people had need to actually read it or at least get encouraged to. No. Uh do 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 do. Um, is there anything really more to say about tier four? Yeah, Zach, please, Zach.
Okay. Um, <laughs> are letting him go. No dodgeritis in sight. All right. Um. This change up wasn't uh, as effective as we've seen in the past. What's up? <clears throat> we wanted to keep my sanity. Oh, I appreciate that, Ross. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's wild. I mean, in season versus off season, so much different. It's two different gears. Um, in many ways, I, f I, I enjoy this much more, even though I'm working more. It's it's like more of a structure to it. While in the off season, there, I mean, not to say I wasn't busy in the off season. Like I, I was all the time. It's just more management stuff. Um, and more kind of nebulous and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's much more enjoyable in season, I think, because I get to do, I think my, my, my most fun thing is assessment and appraising, right? And the off season is just one appraisal and I just say the same things and nothing changes. There's nothing new. There's nothing, you know, it's not as fluid, um, and in season, it's ex there's much more excitement. There's more, you know. I mean, it's baseball, of course, but it's. I uh, why did why did it correct to that, Grant Marie? Um, you know, there's a lot more like, oh, this is happening and this is happening, and like adaptation and discussion and everything, and it's a lot more work in this way. But it's it's what makes me feel more purposeful, which is a funny thing because like it's just baseball. Like as much of a purpose goes, not not the best one, but. <laughs> But I feel, you know, I feel much more in my element. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's it's a give and take. I'm happy to get less sleep. I still only get less sleep, man. I go I go to bed at 1.30 after the roundup's done, and then I wake up at 7.45 for the morning stream. So, Whew. anyway, uh, all worth it. And it's been incredible because of all of you hanging out. And I cannot thank you enough uh, for that. It's super fun. And it makes all of this worth it. Um, I'm going to continue with Trevor Rogers. Oh, thanks so much for the follow, E1 boys. Uh, those arms in 
inside the top 40. Uh, tier 6. or altering my season long expectations for them <laughs> yep, it's okay. Uh, we won, boys. I understand completely. Uh, I was, I was actually, I think, talking about that this morning, <laughs> where people don't, you know, talk about us because they enjoy us so much. And that, honestly, like, if that's how you feel. That's awesome. You know, um, sure, it does help us more if you do. But like, look, uh, the way I like to think about it is that we hope that you won't even have a choice anymore at some point. You know, the next year or two or however long it takes hopefully it's just like oh yeah everyone knows pictureless at this point um <laughs> yeah uh, well that's that's awesome with like no i appreciate you for that i had a friend during the uh <laughs> i had a friend during my like hometown league draft who refused refused to like listen to picture list like doesn't know the ranks or anything like that i would say like hey you know I uh, you just you just chose that guy who I clearly you know don't like. Uh, why? Well, I was curious. Like what? What? I was like, well, Yahoo says this. I was like, okay. It's so, like who is that person? He's like, I don't know. I was like, well, do you not? He says, well, I looked at ESPN too. I'm like, but you don't want to. You don't want to look at mine. You don't want to look at. <laughs> anyway, like when we go to um, our sleepers, all this, the entire draft pick. Ooh, <coughs> sorry, the entire draft kit that we have and stuff and he's like nope he just he won't acknowledge it even though i've known him for 10 years <laughs> uh but i mean this is i i understand it it's just kind of like how it's been done for so long for so many people um and uh i just i just enjoyed ragging him on that and i'll never that'll never not stop like those that actually like know me um you know that i like friends of mine like they don't listen to to a lot of this stuff uh ha Zach, that's that's such an interesting. Hey man, a lot of there are a lot of great writers that wrote a baller. Uh, I mean, we had Nicholas Gout uh, go here, that wrote a baller. Now he's helping out at Fangraphs too. Um, but uh, you know, I know a lot of good people there. Kyle Bishop was a part of it here. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just interesting to me the whole like dynamic of where people get their research. I'm thrilled that you guys are here. Uh, it may, it's it's yeah, it's fantastic. So thanks for supporting us and. Uh, yeah, well, all we were trying to do is just make the best content for all of you. I'm going to continue writing notes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Oops. All right. Uh, what else is interesting here? 
Um, than a belief. Um, <laughs> the, you have to, yeah, you have to keep starting Peralta because, like, what's better out there, you know? Uh, all right. Hey, what's up? Uh, Diablery? Diablery. One. I, I'm a huge Diablo fan, by the way. When Diablo 4 comes out, like, I will be live streaming it. Would you trade Peralta? I probably would, but it depends on what you're getting. Like, trading high is a very hard thing to do. Because generally when you trade high, you need someone who's going to buy high. And if there's anyone that's like, you know, Peralta seems like one of those uh, guys that, like, I don't know, that seems like an obvious buy or sell high kind of thing. Oh, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, Zach, by the way, like our bullpen depth charts article that we do every day, they do such a good job of it. Hopefully, they can keep you in the loop um, for relievers and closers. Oh, yeah, Diablo, man. That's what's up. I will be, I, I'm not even joking. When Diablo 4 comes out, whenever that is, like I, I'm crossing my fingers. It's in the off season because <laughs> I will just, it would just be a week. Like that's what I'm going to do. Um, same thing when breath of the wild two comes out. Those are like the two games that I'm just like, Nope. Okay. See you. Bye. I, I got to do this. This is effectively wild approach. And oh, and avoid, avoid blow ups. I appreciate you. Avoid blow ups. Thanks Zach. Um, I made a, a separate tier. Uh, their ranking is highly dependent. That's a whole separate thing just for those guys. Um, man, look, I have so much more of the list left. All right, I can do one one quick thing for tier 12. 
probably two of them for tier 11. One for tier 10, maybe two for 12, 10. I uh, two for tiers nine and probably one here for tier eight. Yes, I'm talking about you guys. Thanks for the good discussion. Um... It was 10 strikeouts, right guys? Yes. Oh, he left four in runs, though, but I think he pitched super well from, like, this stuff. I got to watch it, but... Um, see oh i see so you're saying he like gave it runs later on i gotta look into this right train pablo for you know what emil smith no i would not Ugh. i would definitely hold on to pablo lopez uh in a 10 team where you can drop corbin that's fine You can totally drop Corbin in 10 teamer. Oh, you had to care for licorice? Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, Deadly Art Gaming. Um, Eovaldi had high velocity, but it was actually surprisingly more hittable uh, fastball than we like and this is the first time i'm actually seeing a slider and curveball have success you know it, it's been you got span no but his splitter sometimes was a thing but then maybe it wasn't or his cutter came down into the zone finally and he was doing had a good feel for like fastball cutter tunneling in 2000 i want to say like 19 or maybe 18 but that was it and like we haven't really seen eovaldi 
put together proper secondary pitches to complement this really hard fastball. So this is probably the first time that we're actually like seeing it maybe work. I, uh, if I move Pablo for Will Smith, what level starter? I mean, that's up to you, kind of. Uh, closers are a currency; it's always an upgrade. But generally, I don't know, like a tier. So like, it would you would have to like Marcus Stroman or something like that. It's it's very very close. Training is weird. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing the notes here. Steven Matz. That's a Oh no, I've got five minutes. All right, we can do this. <laughs> um, Dylan ceased and this is like my <laughs> My serious face is I'm trying to breeze through this as quickly as possible.
Ähm, mh. Ups. <laughs> I think his change up was actually the main thing. Um Um, who else am I want to mention here? Uh, took no joy lowering. Right in the last tier. Last tier. We're almost done. Um... And last one, um, There you go. All right. Uh, special Sonic Hero. Okay. Yep. Could be the moment. Look at all these notes. Rabble, rabble, rabble. I know. I'm late by three minutes. Okay. You guys are vibing. That's cool, cool, cool. Too many Yankee pitchers. Clue by Montgomery. So who I drop? None of them? I don't know. I think they're all going to be good. They're all going to be good. Okay. All right, guys.
They don't have, neither have. Neither has. No, they don't have, neither have. Uh, I'm going to leave it. All right. The list is going to be out in just a second. I have to get this. Let's publish it. Here we go. Uh, then I have to go to this. Update the list to be. The <laughs> Whoops. Nope. Messed that up. All right, it's out and about. And I think that's it, guys. Thank you for a wonderful stream. Thanks for pushing me through that. Uh, Corbin has his own mini tier with Chris Paddock. <laughs> I Actually, yeah, I can preview it. It's going to be a lot slower on my end, though. So actually, if I do this, it's a lot slower on the admin side. Um, so, so Corbin is here, 49. I think you can see that, right? Yep. A little mini tier for both of these guys. Cool. Enjoy it. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Sir Nichols. Oh, you're awesome. Doesn't Cease play Texas next? Oh, is it Texas? I thought it was Cleveland. No, it's Cleveland. Ha ha. Think. Cleveland, Detroit. You know it moves up after getting shelled. I put it in the notes. Yes. We talked about it during the thing. Uh, his stuff is too good, and I think he got kind of unlucky in that start. Um, and remember, moving up is all relative. He should have moved up last time and he was way too down before so too much talent exactly all right guys i am going to run thank you so much for being a part of this i'll see you guys tomorrow morning and as always may your babas be low and your strikeouts high take care guys i'll see you tomorrow morning